One of the most misunderstood things about the internet is the concept of the cookie. A lot of people have heard of cookies. In fact, I think we've reached a point where just about everybody with a computer has heard of a cookie. Yet there are very few people who truly understand what they are. And that is the subject of today's idea of the day. One of the most misunderstood things about the internet is the concept of a cookie. There are people who come to me all the time saying, Oh, I got to get rid of my cookies. I got a lot of cookies and they're bad. I got to get rid of those bad cookies because they don't really understand what they are and what they aren't. Well, first of all, what are cookies and what do they do more specifically? Well, on the surface, all a cookie really is, is a small text file that is placed on your computer by a website. And all that's in that information is essentially maybe, let's just call it an account number, just for point of reference. They'll put some identifiable information in there, some random number, maybe a 20 digit number that represents you at that moment. So if you're with me so far, they put that file on there. And if nothing else, they may put only one thing in there, which is just maybe a 20 digit random number. They put that number on there. Now you leave that website. You come back a month from now and what they do first, the first thing they do, literally the first thing they do as soon as you visit that website is they go and they ask the browser, did, did you have a cookie from this, this, this guy before? And if the browser says, yes, there is a cookie already here from the last time you visited, it then retrieves the cookie, pulls it back up because the website is the owner of that cookie. Then only that website can read the cookie. So it reads the cookie and it reads back that same 20 digit number. Now, what does that do? Well, it just tells the website that it's the same person who was just there two weeks ago or whenever it is. And a cookie, by the way, can have an expiration date, so it can go away after a certain amount of time. So presuming your cookie's set to have an expiration date of a year, you visit a site. It leaves the serial number. Essentially, it's like leaving a calling card. And the next time you're there, it goes and sees if that card is there. And it says, oh, yeah, that's the same guy. And who is it? Oh, he's the guy that used to be looking at the cat videos, but only the ones where there were white cats. So now they know to show you only the videos with the white cats because that's the ones you were looking at the last time. So essentially, all the cookie does is it really identifies you. It doesn't identify you by who you are. Let's get that straight. What a cookie is not. A cookie does not identify you per se. Nothing in the cookie can tell them your name, your address, just about anything. They probably the only identifiable thing they could put in the cookie would be your IP address, which is not really that identifiable. But yes, it does give them a little bit of information. Um, anything else that's in the cookie is something that the website itself put there. Again, it could put things like your geographic location, your IP address, a random number. And if let's say you go to a website and during your session on that website, you do put your name in, you say, oh, my name is Joe and I'm, this is my phone number. And you put that in there and then it says it can, let's say, store that in the cookie. And then the next time you visit that website, they can retrieve the cookie and have your name and your phone number already there. So the thing to understand about a cookie is it doesn't actually have information that you didn't already give them on the website. So the most important thing for that website is to know that it is the same person who was there. Now, cookies are used, again, to you know, two different ways. One is they store the information so that the next time you come back, they know who you are, but they're also used to keep track of the session itself. So for example, on a lot of uh, shopping sites, they'll use the cookie to essentially initiate a shopping basket. They've gone a long way since the early, uh, uh, shopping baskets, but a shopping basket uh, is, is triggered by that cookie. So they used to store some of the actual information for the products you bought in the, in the cookie, but right now they'll, they'll create a shopping cart and give it a number. And then they'll store that number in the cookie so that if you leave the website and come back an hour later, the things you put in the shopping cart are still there. So the other purpose of the cookie is to keep track of the session, what you're doing while you're working on it. They'll just store that in there. So don't be afraid of cookies. Now, again, some people go out of their way thinking they have to use every tool in the world to get rid of cookies. I, I don't have a problem with having a cookie. It is a good thing to periodically purge them because sometimes you have a ton of them. And uh, for uh, some other privacy reasons, you sometimes might want to get rid of them because let's say you visit a website just out of curiosity to shop for a car. And then you, you, you have what's known as a third party cookie, which is a little different. A third party cookie is where a website you have has a small they call it an iframe, a small section of that page that's actually a window to, let's say, Google. And then you go to that site and now Google knows that you were searching on 
a, a car site for a car. So now you have a third party cookie, which is you're on the car site, but now Google knows you're on the car site. So now that Google knows you're on a car site, they're gonna show you more ads for cars. So even though that's not a direct breach of privacy, sometimes people don't want search engines to know where they've been. So periodically purging your cookies is not a bad thing, but uh, it's, it's definitely not urgent or essential. And there's nothing that could be placed that's harmful inside the cookie itself. So don't worry about deleting them for that reason. And it's the privacy between sites is uh, important to you. Maybe you could periodically get rid of it. But keep this one thing in mind. If you delete your cookies because you don't want Google, let's say, to know that you're searching for something because you don't want to see ads about whatever it is, they know about it anyway because chances are you probably have a Gmail account or a Yahoo account, and they track you from that anyway. So you're, you're you know, delete it or don't delete it, but at least understand what a cookie is and what it isn't. And that's today's idea of the day. All right. So that's today's Idea of the Day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day. Every day. Yeah, some of them don't suck. And, and don't forget to subscribe. And you can see them here every day. Brand new one. And, and some of my videos don't suck either. <laughs>